she won't fall over, all is good. Let's key everything. And uh, that's kind of your first lesson of rig on the fly. Uh, so anytime you create, let's say, uh, actually, yeah, let's talk a little bit more. So let's say let's grab her two feet here and we make both of those OK constraints. And then uh, you don't like the size of that controller. As long as you have mirror on, if you change the size of one of the controllers, the opposite side will also change. They both um, change in scale along with each other. So I like them somewhat on the small side, but you know, if you're an animator that wants them large, we'll just go ahead and make them giant using these uh, controls here. And probably if you're a pull vector person, you would be keeping these pull vectors going. We've got a bunch of other options on here. I don't generally play with them there. They are there. If you have your own controllers, you don't like the way the rig on the fly controllers are, you can set your own uh, controller shapes. I don't mind the uh, rig on the fly shapes. They seem fine to me, so that's what I've been using. I suppose we could twist her on her. Yeah, we could twist her at the hips there and see. Maybe that would add a little interest to the pose. All right, let's key everything where they're at. And then we can take the uh, feet and turn them back into FK. And those are all good. So if your colors aren't like this, um, it seems to me right on the fly, sometimes didn't wasn't able to um, determine what my uh, left and right bones were. You can just highlight some bones, say like highlight these control bones in the right hand, come over here and there's rig on the fly, left, middle, and the right controls you can assign them to those groups and that way you'll that way you'll have coloring like i've got here and actually it looks like she is leaning a little bit far forward now so i need to fix that so let's uh take her feet and make them okay then let's take her hips here and we'll rotate them We could rotate. I mean, if we rotate them until her right leg is straight, that would actually look pretty nice. There we go. Let's do that. And then um, what we also want to do is keep her on balance. So this needs to be moved back a little bit, and I suppose down a little bit. There we go. And again, because her feet are OK, everything is going to be correct. That does her hand though it uh, came away from her leg because we've moved her body all around and so i suppose uh, i'll go ahead and make that ike and then use that to put her hand back on her leg because we haven't rigged her fingers we can't really do this properly probably her index finger should come around and her middle finger should probably come around a little bit more too her ring finger and little finger already embedded into her leg Let's twist it just a bit, and maybe that will help that. There we go. So now her thumb's embedded in her leg. All right, well, maybe pull it forward just a tad. Okay, sure, that'll be great. Key everything. Grab her wrist and the two feet. Turn those back into FK again. And, wow, everything is looking great. So this is something I'm really loving, the, the ability to switch between IK and FK without all the craziness of uh, some of the rigs that I've seen. I suppose that's a little bit uh, more realistic here. Yeah, you should probably keep our arm a little closer to our body like that. Let's go ahead and leave that there. I just love tweaking poses and making everything just looking perfect. So let's take a look at a couple other poses I made. Uh, also, if you do pose all these bones um, in some way and then turn on the rotation um, distribution it'll keep the rotation as it was so maybe uh, maybe we can demonstrate that with something um, let's go back to a default pose copy everything go to frame six paste it here uh, so then what we want to do is let's say let's say we had a crooked spine all right so this one here uh, is back like that and this one here is way forward like that and then this one here is way back like that okay so that causes her belly to be pulled in in some fairly unnatural way right let's uh key everything grab that uh rib cage change the length to three distribute and now all three of these bones 
as you see, stay in that same pose. And if I rotate her body, the, the crookedness of the spine is maintained. Like it'll, it, it'll rotate the others along with this one, but it won't reset them back into some uh, well, state that you don't want. So basically you're always, uh, this rotational uh, distribution is going down through without messing up whatever tweaks you might have made beforehand. So that is a super handy uh, feature of that. I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, well, actually, I suppose we can undo to bring it back to this state. All right. Okay. So I'm going to make close six be a default pose. All right. So as you can see, I've spent a little bit of time. This one I closed entirely with FK posing, which is a painful thing when you want to do uh, getting everything balanced and all that. But then the uh, other poses like this one, I used a bit of IK posing to place her arm on her shoulder and be able to do some things uh, after that was done. And um, this pose definitely used all IK because I was playing around with rig on the fly getting ready to make this video. And uh, yeah, it was really fun to be doing this. Now, there's a bunch of other things. Uh, so far, all we've done is posing, like single poses at a time, right? And I said something at the beginning, beginning that uh, I think this is a good tool for animators. There's a whole bunch of other features going on down in here, like space switching. It's going to be a very important thing for animation at some point, and a bunch of other things. Um, so definitely, I recommend install this tool, Rig on the Fly. You, uh, you go to, um, I think it's hosted on GitLab. You know, download it, you install it, you get all this stuff for... Free. It's just great. This is a wonderful tool. Highly recommend you use it. Let's take a look at her in the full slice here. Now I might also have wanted to put her ankle up in the air and everything, but because her toes aren't rigged, I really might have to kind of leave her flat-footed for the moment. So that looks a little ridiculous. There's too much twist there on her knee. I got to twist her ankle actually. Huh. All right, I already found a problem that I don't like there. There we go. And then I suppose uh, maybe we'll take that and rotate it a little back, a little bit back out there. Yes, and then we'll take this one here and rotate it out. All right, that looks reasonably uh, real. I suppose I can rotate this on its Y axis. There we go. Beautiful. At some point, that this pose may not work when I start adding um, deformed bones later. I might have to fix that. I don't know if you can rotate your shin on its y-axis independently of your... I think it would have to be... It would have to stay... Right, I don't think I can rotate that. I'm going to take this here and unrotate that, and then take this one and rotate it on its y-axis and use that to turn it. So I don't think I would be able to do that below the knee. All right, so now I really do want to move just the knee, but I want her foot to stay in place. So again, time to turn that into IK. And take that, rotate it a little bit that way. I suppose I can do like that. There we go. That makes it look a little bit better. And I suppose if I, oops, didn't want to do that. Uh, if I take this one here, make that also IK. Oops, first I need to key everything. Then I grab that, change it to IK. Then I can take this and clear the rotation. Uh, then I suppose I want to rotate it a bit forward and like that. Yes. And I want this just to tad down. Then her hand needs to be placed again. But that does fix her ankles a bit. They don't look as awful as they did before. Oops, I forgot I was leaving this rendering down here in this corner. All right, let's stop that rendering so my CPU doesn't go crazy. All right, then we can just take all that, I suppose, key, grab that, change that back to IK, move the hand. I hope you can see the power, at least in posing this stuff, uh, and you'll figure out the power of doing it with animating a bit later if you're an animator. All right, set everything, grab these controllers. We're going to change them all back to FK again. Did I grab this one? Failed to grab that one. Okay, F key. Everything's back to the default state. And that is a beautiful looking pose. It's gonna be even better when I'm when I key excuse me, when I rig up her glutes and hips right now. That's a little bit too much there. Uh, a little bit too much here. Uh, so that'll be 
fixed when we rig those portions of her body and then we can start doing more stuff with her shoulders when we start rigging the pectorals and the trapezius and the latissimus dorsi and all those bits but uh, for now for a sh for a not too dramatic pose that's pretty good all right so enough talking about rigging the fly for the moment i'll do another video with more details in the uh, future